Hey guys, this is Abdul. Hi guys, how you doing? And my name is Chris. Today we are here to talk to you guys about the negative impacts of gambling. Right. All right, guys. Point one: There are a lot of different games in the casino that you can play, such as blackjack, backrip, roulette, craps, slots, fortune wheel, and a lot of other games as well. But four or five main ones that we're actually going to talk about today and let you guys know the impacts. All right, guys. Point two: We're going to start off by talking about the odds of gambling. According to gamblingsites.com, guys, there's different games, and every single game has an house edge. So, with that being said, so if you go to blackjack, so in blackjack table, there is 0.26 percent to 1 percent house edge. That means there's still an house edge. That means you will still expect to lose a lot of money. Let's say you go with thousand dollars, expect to lose at least two hundred dollars per hour, as compared to other like slot machines. So casinos make a lot of money from their slot machines, like 90% casinos make their money from slot machines, which means that if you go with $1,000, you will only come back with $100 back. So you will lose $900. That's really interesting, Abdul. Yeah. If you were to play with $100 every hour, you would be losing $20. You're expected to lose $20. Guys, there's always a health edge on every certain game. For blackjack and baccarat, it's according to gamblingodds.com. There is a percentage of 0.2621%, which means that the odds of winning is very less. That's research that we came across from gamblingtheodds.com. Right. Point three, guys. Now, guys, we did come across research as well, and it said that in the long run, you can benefit from gambling through playing slot machines. But therefore, if you actually base your income on just gambling, you will actually lose more than you gain. Meaning that although you're going to be making money in the long run, you will have to surrender more money now in order to benefit from it. For example, if someone goes in with $100 playing slot games, they might win $50 additional, meaning that it's $150. Little that they know is that they actually are going to be addicted sooner than they realize because even though they might have won $150, right. they're actually going to be losing in the long run because now when they actually lose $30 the next day or $40 the other day, they go back to recover it. And they're going to come back the next day try to recover the loss that they just made right. and therefore that balance just gets bigger and bigger in the negatives rather than the positives, which means the person is actually now addicted or they can never recover. So the point number four, so this is how the gambling starts, the addiction starts. So let's, for example, let's say a player goes with $100 and he wins $150 on top of $100. So now he's winning $150. So he goes back the second day thinking he might win $200 more. So the next day he loses $500. So now he's down to $50. So the third day he goes back to recover his $250 loss. So the third day he again loses $200. So now he's down for $50. So now he's like, okay, let me go back one more time to win. So the, so the fifth time he actually wins $100. So now he's down to $350. So now he goes back and forth, wins anything, and he gets addicted. All right, guys, before we wrap this video, we just wanted to make a suggestion. Now, we don't say don't go to the casino. That's not the message we're trying to portray. We're saying you should go and experience going to the casino, but maybe start off with $20 or $25 or something where you actually have a limit and see how it goes for you. So don't overspend. Just think about this. Can I lose $20 and go home like like a free man? Uh, like can can I lose $20 and still have no sorrows? So if you feel that way then you can go if you think like oh if I lose $20 I'll go back the next day then I go back the next day try to recover my $20 this is not gonna happen you will never recover your money unless for a long run you might hit a jackpot with just 10 cents you might win a million dollars but it's highly unlikely yes. yeah. you are expected to lose you're not expected to win so yeah. before we wrap this video up we just wanted to say thank you and thank you for watching this video. And if you like it, please give us a thumbs up. 
also and go and go to casino if you're under 19 you can get caught <laughs> <laughs> and have a good day take care and take care. thank you thank you